Hey guys, in this video I'm getting to my review of my Oregon Blade Maker grinder, the OBM grinder. Alright guys, so a little background on me. I got into knife making almost two years ago when I turned 40. I wanted to uh, get a new hobby and um, I've always been into knives and I decided to get into knife making. Did my first one with the uh, the Goff. I don't know how you say his name. He's a great knife maker though. His jig. Did one knife with a jig. My buddy gave me a two by forty two inch grinder, and then I did one night, one or two knives with that one, and then I knew that I was I was hooked on knife making, so I wanted to upgrade. The cheapest one that I researched that I could find was this one that was like a semi pro grinder. Um, so I saved up, bought one. I think I paid four seventy. It was like five hundred with shipping. Um, I also had to buy the extra uh, drive wheel to go on the motor. Um, and it's all that I've ever used. So when people ask me like, how does it compare? I don't know. This is all I've ever used, but compared to the other stuff that I've used, it's definitely, it's definitely an upgrade. And it's worth it. Anyway, for my level of uh, hobby knife making, it's been pretty awesome. I have made two upgrades to it, or modifications I should say. I added a three quarter inch aluminum plate behind my platen because when you, this side is okay, it's when you're grinding you have like the, the full range of motion, but when you go on to this side there's a lip on the other side. It's about, sticks out like a quarter of an inch and when you're grinding into it, it'll it'll hit right there. So what I did is I saw some people did a spacer, brings it out more so it gives you more clearance that you can grind your knife around. I also added these quick moving bolts, adjustable bolts, because the way I grind, I, I jig grind. I set up, a, I set up my <clears throat> tool rest. Which is flat. Let's tighten it down. You adjust this to the angle. I use one of these charts off of, off of uh, Google. Basically says chart of blade angle grinds. You take your thickness um, of the steel that you're using, how high of a bevel you want to go. So let's say like this was not quite a quarter of an inch, but it's like two hundredths of an inch. Take the closest measurement to that, how you wanna, how high you wanna grind to. You look at those two things and it'll tell you what, uh, what degrees of angle that you need to set it at. So that's how I grind. So with adjusting this all the time, that made it a lot easier. Um, the other thing, even if you do get this grinder, or any grinder, I started off with the single phase one speed motor at first. It was a 3700 RPM, I think half horsepower motor. And it was pretty it was pretty good for a while, but I actually you you use the top speed for hogging off a lot of metal at first. And then the real important part is when you finish the blade after you heat treat it, you don't want to heat it up too much. And it's good to be able to adjust the the speed of the motor. So then you got to buy one of these. This is actually a a higher end one. It's a KBAC twenty seven D, if I remember correctly. Um, I think they normally go for like three fifty. I think I even got one on eBay for two eighty, brand new. It was a super deal. This one will allow you to run a two horsepower motor. Um, you can double the speed. Uh, I put in a forward reverse switch, which I actually used to use, but I don't use it as much anymore. But it's cool to have the option and then start stop with the little adjustment knob. This one is uh, sealed. That's why I got it. I saw a bunch of them would, you know, short out after a while but this one's totally enclosed 
sealed. So the motor I got to go with it was just an eBay motor. It was um, like 220 bucks. And this is something that you can read up on. I still am not sure if I chose the right one. I chose what everyone on Blade Forum told me to get, which I'm going with uh, what the experts say. <laughs> but I got the 1800 RPM motor at two horsepower. And they were saying that you can use the doubler in your variable speed drive, the VFD, to get that same 3700 RPM, 3600 RPM. Uh, to me, it, uh, the more important horsepower is on the top end when you're actually hogging, you know, when you're using a 36 grit belt or you're trying to knock off the most metal at first. Um, but that's what everyone said to use, so that's what I got, and it's, it seems to work, but I think if I would have got the higher speed one, I would be able to grind out blades a lot faster in the hogging stage in the beginning, um, which would probably speed things up just a little bit. As for as for the grinder goes, I mean it's pretty simple. Slap on your belt. It's got the tension adjuster. I mean for, I don't see how it could get any better. I think um, what the what the grinders allow you to do, and what I've done is. You know, you can make your own tool rests. I got my small wheel holder. I got the little tool rest for the small wheel holder. I made the big sword one that I use, and um, I'm, I'm probably. Oh, and I made a new hollow grinding jig. So you set it up on the wheel and you spin your your stuff around. I do believe that they sell a new version that's a slightly cheaper with plastic wheels here. They didn't have that option. I probably would have bought that option, but actually now that I have it, um, the aluminum wheels I'm sure would last a lot longer. So that's worth it. A um, couple of tips if you do buy one and you start making your own tools is I start off cheaper with the, um, the hollow steel tube, but after I made this last jig, they want like most of the places just for the arm it's like 30 bucks and then it's like 20 bucks to ship just for the solid aluminum arm I went down to my local metal metal seller and it was like eight bucks a foot so it was you know you don't have to pay shipping pretty much it's about the same a little bit cheaper um, the other thing I want to bring up is uh, a lot of people, you know, complain that I use jigs. I don't understand what's the big difference. I guess it's the same thing, kind of stock removal versus forging. But um, that, actually, there's a reason why I use a jig. About three and a half years ago, I just woke up one day and my left shoulder uh, was spasming or whatever. And then ever since that day, my left arm is about. 40% weaker than my right arm. I don't know if it's like a pinched nerve. I went through therapy, everything, and it, it just doesn't work. I'll probably roll in some footage here, but I used to be super strong. I used to almost be able to bench almost 400 pounds with awesome form and everything. Um, so when I started knife grinding, I, I tried doing it freehand, but you know, one way I'm really good with my dominant right hand, and then the other way I just, it's too squiggly. So that, that made me want to use a jig. So basically, <clears throat> all I've done, took a piece of angle iron, real simple, I just kind of came up with this myself. Um, depending on your blade, I have two, two jigs. This is my normal knife jig. This is my, you know, my small sword jig. I just measured an inch up. This is two inch by one eighth uh, angle iron mild steel. I just scored a line, drilled it for three spots. For the knife one, you just clamp the knife on it like that, where it's resting on here. You just make them thinner than what the blade is. It's kind of hard if you do really thin blades. So when it's clamped on like this, you just slide along the jig 
to the angle that you're set at it um, works good for me I mean since I really can't uh, freehand it I wish I could but I can't <laughs> So this is how I'm going to do it, no matter, you know, sorry that people are saying that it's not uh, the right way to do it. That's, that's the only way I can do it, so it's the best I can do. So I know a lot of people want to buy my knives. And um, actually right now for me, uh, knife making is just fun for me to test out different blade designs and everything. And I have taken a couple where I've really sat there and hand sanded them and polished them and you know all that and then you actually go and use it <laughs> say like one with a hamon a couple of tantos um, and it just like messes it up it's like a, a hamon is almost like a state of polishing um, so that kind of threw me off to it I, I would rather have a knife that I can use and you know test with so that's why I don't actually take my knives to I would say like a selling for what I would want to sell it you know form um, plus I don't really have the time I've only been able to uh, oh that's what it was I got laid off and after 13 years and my new job that I got I get home about two hours later and those two hours a day or would I if I was gonna make a knife that's what I would uh, that's the time that I would do it so yeah I mean I really don't have the time and if someone was gonna buy my blades I just don't think that what I make is up for or up to the quality for selling I mean unless you're I take my blades to about 85 percent and then I'm that's when I'm happy I just slap a little you know acid etch on it and and it's good but yeah, right now I'm more just interested in making blades and testing them out. Maybe someday. I did actually make a bunch a bunch of blades to sell, but I don't know. The whole thing about selling, it just kind of takes the fun out of it. I think if I sold some and got some complaints or, you know, someone said your, your knives aren't, aren't that great, it would really bum me out too. Um, I do have a few people that I do sell knives to. A um, couple guys on the internet that hit me up early on on Instagram, and I've been selling them. I think I've sold almost 20 knives to them, but they know that the quality that they're getting, um, so they're they're happy with that. Um, I try to answer all the technical questions on my channel. Um, I appreciate all the comments and everything that everyone, you know leaves on my channel and all my videos um, so I think that's it this is an awesome grinder but like I said take that with uh, with knowing that I'm a newbie and this is the only real grinder that I've ever used so um, you know take that into consideration um, and hopefully I'll be putting out a new blade video here soon alright guys thanks bye